today we're out viewing the solar eclipse. Um, this is the first time in 38 years that this is happening, and the first time ever that the eclipse is um, in totality across the United States. I really hope that they learn not only the visual of it and how they can safely participate in it, but also the science behind it. Why is this happening? What effects may it have on the Earth? What percentage of the sun will be covered today? Um, in our science classroom, we spend a lot of time doing different stations, watching videos, and looking at photos of past eclipses, as well as studying where the path was that it was going, and looking at online simulations that demonstrated solar and lunar eclipses and what it looks like, and they were able to kind of make predictions about what they thought we were going to see, as well as what those that live in the path of the total eclipse were going to see. The eclipse has started, there's a partial crescent going on, so very exciting. Well, I see, well, the sun, it looks kind of like, it's as if the moon was a crescent, but like a thousand times bigger, and the moon is a little bit to the left of it, just a little bit smudge right there. I see a circle, and then a hole. Right now it looks kind of like a crescent moon, well, it does because the moon is going over the sun, and yeah. It's about uh, a quarter of the moon is covered, and it looks really cool. It's like the moon during night when it's a crescent. The moon's going over the sun at a rate where the tilt is like this, and we're not perfectly in line, but we're lined it up to see where the moon is going over the sun. Um, it it kind of looks like a crescent moon, and it's in the chunk of a moon of the sun. It kind of looks like the apple symbol without the stem. You know, from the product's apple. It, it looks like a it looks like the crested moon but a lot like fatter and bigger. So I'm seeing like a shape of a moon and it's orange and you know like it's so cool. Like it's like barely shaped like a moon but almost there so yeah. These kids are military children so the next time there's an eclipse like this in the United States they may, may not be living here. So for them this may be a, a once in a lifetime opportunity to see. What we talk about a lot in science class is it's kind of like it's just a perfect alignment of all these many different factors and it's a really good opportunity for them to get to see that when things play out like this and they line up just right there's nature can be really cool.